hello all and welcome back for another amazing video and as you can see on the screen it's another amazing bed transformation video so make sure to stay till the end and enjoy the video So most of my clients are opting to transform beds instead of buying a new bed and this is the bed that I'm going to transform today. I, a lot of people have this kind of bed and the bed, okay let's say I've already disassembled it and for this one I'm going to cut uh, the headboard, all of it. As you can see on the screen it's kind of curved and I cannot work with it so I have to cut it. And then after that, I'm going to make a new headboard. So that is basically what I'm doing on the screen. I'm measuring the part that I'm going to cut. And then I will be cutting it and start making a new frame. So make sure to stay till the end to fully understand all the processes that I'm taking while transforming this bed. And for this video today, I've really, really tried uh, to put almost all the details uh, that is, if you want to try something like this, I've done a lot of work uh, trying to put a lot of details for you guys so that you will understand and get all the steps in this video. So let's start by making the new frame, like uh, on the screen. I'm making the new frame and after that I'm going to join it to the main headboard that I've already cut. Anyway, if you're new here, feel much welcomed. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for always supporting us. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to like our video, comment, tell us what you think, share and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you always get notified whenever we upload new videos. So here I'm just trying to show you guys that I've already adjusted the height of the headboard. It was at 3 feet and... Now it's above four feet. That is almost four and a half feet above the gr uh, from the ground. And after that, I'm going to start doing uh, the channels. And I'm going to use this gray fabric and contact glue to attach the forms on the frame. And after that, uh, it's just simple. You just watch and learn. So enjoy the video and like it.
in our previous videos there was a subscriber who asked how i usually attach these sideboards on the frame and this is the uh, this is the process i usually nailed it or screw it on the frame and then after that i just wrap it uh, or cover it but just watch the video and you will understand uh, the process i hope i've answered your question Off camera, I also did some adjustment on this, uh, the lower side of the bed. Uh, uh, the client wanted uh, this side for the legs uh, to go down or to be large. That is from the top to the ground. So I've already adjusted it, uh, added the plywood and also did some channels on it and it's beautiful. So now i'm just going to cover the remaining parts uh, as you can see on the screen I hope you have enjoyed the video and before you see the final reveal kindly like this video comment and share and usually on these videos i usually use these small nails also i use a staple gun and some nails so those are the most tools that you see me using yeah so don't forget to like this video and tell me what you think about the final reveal or the transformation